Good morning, everyone. It is 838 right now. Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here in time to talk about our best friends. And we're not just talking about dogs and cats, Jackie. We're talking folks best friends could be any type of animal that they have. Absolutely. And mm. taking care of them through all stages of life. And we want to introduce you to a wonderful friend of ours here in the living room this morning. We want to say hello, Jim Johnson. Thank you for being here today. And good morning to you, good Miss morning. Jackie. And well, good morning to you, Lou. No, Thank we're you. We're talking about obviously taking care of them in uh, their in their life, their current life, hopefully, but then in the afterlife, and that's where you step in. And it's been quite a month, and so I've got a couple of little things to, little stories to tell you that I just sort of got dialed into since our last meeting, and uh, if you have some script to follow, don't let me interrupt mm -hmm. it, but Saturday was a perfect example of what we are. Mm -hmm. We had a list of pets to pick up, and the clinics close at 12, for the most part. And we have two drivers, and we do our best to get every pickup made. And I got a call, a devastating call, a pet in a driveway with children, and that's what we are. No, it we're talking obviously uh, about Loving Rest, the pet cemetery, and the thing about it is you need to get these animals uh, to your facility. That's the whole idea. Yes, but we need to take care of the people. And there are lots of people who would like to do what we do, but we're just on the job. And I stood in their driveway and they cried and hugged and cried and hugged and thanked me for coming. And if anything defines what I think of myself at, at, at this age, it's that I can do this for people and want to do this for people. It was a magic moment in a 22-year career. Wow, what, what type of animal uh, were you having to pick it up? It was a large golden retriever mm -hmm. above their physical abilities, but there were children involved and grandparents involved. The basic question was how soon could I be there? Mm -hmm. And so there was just like, do it, get there. And we miss, we miss family functions. We do all kinds of things, but when you embrace a job like mine, mm -hmm. which is taking care of people's heartbreak, you embrace that 100%. And a lot of times when you're in that situation, the easiest thing is to have someone who is an expert to kind of take it the next step. It's not always easy for the person who's grieving to know the right steps to take when you do it the best uh, in, our, in the business, really. Right, and you're, and you're totally correct because the rational thought went out the window when the whole horrific nature of their immediate problem took place. So. Um, I'm patting my own back, I know that, but you get to my age and you look back over your life, what you've done, and it's the good things, and let's talk about the good things with Mr. Lou, mm -hmm. because last Saturday night we were together at the Animal Rescue League auction, and you did such a wonderful job well, of you. just describing what was going on and, and helping Tom and, and the auctioneer out. Just, uh, I kind of sat out in the, um, at, at the Loving Rest table and thought, I know that guy. <laughs> no, it was our honor to be there, and uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to provide th those type of services. You provide a service, but th that's what we have a chance to do, too. So that was our little part of trying to make that uh, event a success, which was a huge success. But let's go back to uh, you know the way that you take care of the people as well as the pets that have passed on. Well, that's what it's about, and they trust us. Not just me. I've got drivers. I've got my wife even helps out. Mm -hmm. I've got an office manager. The number one thing I'm looking for is are they good with people? Um, we might need help with a large pet, but we're in the presence of someone who just lost their best friend. Right, and we're talking about a golden retriever, which is a big animal, but mm -hmm. there are some bigger animals that people have as pets. Yeah, and we want to, is something we do want to follow today and talk about is you have the only facility that's able to take care of a larger animal like a horse. A horse. And I want to make sure what you might be putting on the board here. Mm -hmm. okay. And so anyway, we sent a couple of pictures in of some of our horse stuff. I don't know if I direct those pictures or if you have well, they'll pop there. them up here. That's the perfect way to start. That picture shows two things. Probably the most important is that green little mat in the front. That is a rescue glide. When we go to pick up a horse, and of course they're deceased, we park in such a manner that our horse is just up, our hearse, the trailer, is just off to the side we roll the horse onto that rescue glide, mm -hmm. and then it is brought 
up that gentle ramp in the back and into the trailer without having to chain or cable the neck or the or the feet. It's just so gently done. So the horse is basically on a bed. And, it's on and, a bed. And then the bed is uh, hoisted into the hearse. Correct. Because that, that's what you call that, a hearse, correct? Co yes. Mm -hmm. Everything we do is set up that we can do it in front of the horse owner and be respectful. And that's a, that's a big part. I got almost $15,000 in that. It was all kind of motivated because I picked up a horse with our old trailer, hearse, when I had to cable the neck in front of a pet owner, and I was just aghast. And went about finding a better way. And so, of course, I've got resources, friends in the business. So we ended up with, with that um, green. How uh, long have you had that, Matt? How, how long have you had that gliding device? About five years. Okay. In my business, when you work seven days a week, time just passes, and next thing you know, it's past and you don't remember that, that actually it has to save you some time too doesn't it if you can just roll a, a deceased animal onto it and then not again be cognizant of the owner being there because you said that that's very important too, yes is they have the oh. owner see what happens yep. and then bringing that animal into the hearse without any additional stress to the person is what we're talking about exactly you're yeah. just you, you, you could come to work for me if this ever doesn't work out for you. <laughs> so have we got another horse picture? I think they do. They're going to be rolling through here. But uh, how many horses do you end up doing a year? And by doing, we're talking about cremation, correct? Correct. Yeah, we don't, we don't bear anymore. We ran out of space. Um, I'll talk about this picture and answer your question at the same time. We do about 60 horses a year. Um, it's... That's a five a month average, but they come 10 to a month and then one. Mm -hmm. There's no dialing up. We, we don't really promote it. Um, we would like to, but there's just so many, so, such a huge time requirement. What you're looking at is, well, me in the pink shirt there, and that is a, a specially built cremator that a horse can go in without having to adjust its anything. It, it it'll can, fit in. It lays on its side. It'll fit in. How long does it take to have a full <laughs> cremation process? Ballpark five hours. Five hours. And what kind of temperatures are we talking? 1,600 degrees. Uh, the forklift is specially built. Um, you can see it's got eight-foot forks, which means we can, and what's called fork positioners, we go in with the forks extra wide so we don't jostle the horse, and then we bring them in gently until they're under the horse and that's when we pick it up we lay it into the cremator we, we drive it into the cremator and then again we just gently spread them and then the horse just lays down so and there's no pushing or anything like that involved it's just put the, putting the animal in there then laying it down and i'm so proud when i can do that in front of people in front of the horse owners it's just a good feeling that you did it the very best. So the be. horse owner can watch the whole process. Oh, okay. Quite often they'll take the hoof and tuck it in if it's looking like it's going to scrape the side. I encourage them to help. Wow. This is part of saying goodbye. And you're the only one in the state that has a facility like this. I believe so. Someone else does it, but they have to cut the horse up. They don't have a piece of, of equipment like that. No. And I don't know that that's exactly what people have in mind. No. So you have a very unique facility. Uh, you have a, a beautiful, uh, a beautiful hunk of land too. The cemetery you have there is an amazing, uh, you know, array of different headstones and things like that uh, that's available. Now people want to get more information about your services uh, from anywhere from a lizard you mentioned, uh, and all the way. I'm sure you, you probably have done some fish too, but all the way up to a horse. What would be the easiest and best way for someone to get a hold of you? Just get on the website lovingrest.com it does not get any easier lovingrest.com if you type it in two words or one word or however or contact your vet we service all but three vets in in central iowa and so it's including iowa state which is of course <laughs> kind of an emergency clinic um, in that people bring difficult uh, problems but j before we close I know our time is close yesterday a lady drove down from Ames and brought her son's little turtle little being maybe this big and I cried 
Oh, it was just one of those wonderful moments that a turtle, who's to say? That's right. It's just a wonderful business for me and my guys. And thank you for having me on. I know we're yeah. winding down time-wise, but. Yeah, but you're a special individual with a very special product that you have to offer uh, our community, and we're so glad you're here. Those are kind words, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you, you so Jackie. Thank you for being here, yeah. appreciate it. Loving rest, uh, folks, the pet funeral home, unlike any other place in the entire country, right here in Central Iowa. It is eight